Yep. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now, gonna go ahead and get into Coco with Kimmy. Kim. You you be steaming on every segment besides Coco with Kimmy. Your shit is like overboiling right now. So what what you got what you got for us this week? So the Coco with Kimmy, I need to know where's my thousand dollars. Not me, but everyone should be asking of their company where is their thousand dollars because the corporate tax rate went from like 20 some from 30 something to like 25 percent the idea is that your company gets this big tax break and they're supposed to share it with their employees mm -hmm. so a lot of companies have been given their employees money so let me find my list did your company give you a thousand dollars yet my company ain't giving me shit. they too damn cheap what? <laughs> my company ain't giving us no damn money. Okay, so here we go. American Airlines gave their gave their employees one thousand dollars. Bank of America gave their employees one thousand dollars. Comcast, and of course, you know, net neutrality is is an issue. So a lot of the cable companies are giving their employees a thousand dollars. BB and T Bank gave their employees twelve hundred dollars. Walmart gave their employees $1,000, but you had to be there like 20 years, which is the equivalent of like $50 a year, which really, 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 ain't really shit. ain't shit. Um, a lot of companies are also given, Oakley is giving their employees a 401k, mm -hmm, a 401k Why, match. You know how much them damn shades cost? <laughs> um, Fifth Third Bank is giving their employees $1,000. JetBlue is giving their employees $1,000. Nationwide, PNC Financial, all, all our Southwest Airlines, US Bancorp, Walmart, all these companies are giving their employees $1,000. Where is everybody's $1,000? Well, I ain't getting it. I ain't expecting it, I ain't getting it. The last company I worked with, they were supposed to give me a bonus when they signed a new client. They ain't give me my bonus then. So I definitely don't expect this company to give me $1,000. Visa, Affleck, and Nationwide are giving companies boosting their 401k match, which could potentially mean more than $1,000. I, I want a 401k match. If it came down to it, I would rather have that. I'll take anything. Give me stocks, if anything. Give me give me some stocks. Give me some shares. You really don't want that because still, like, you don't want to end up depending in an Enron what, situation. Depending on what. Yeah. No, no, they stay. They're yours. Yeah, they yeah. stay. But see, companies have really get they've gotten away from like profit sharing and you know company stock options. A lot of them don't. It just depends. I mean, it's good if they do. You want that to be a part of your benefit. I done package. had them with at least two companies. I don't work for. They what and stock they, options? Yeah. Mm -mm. I ain't got them no more. I, I cast them bitches oh, out. Okay. <laughs> I cast them bitches out. But still, you give, you could buy them. They open it up every once in a while. Yeah. And the only thing it does is it gives you the opportunity to buy the stock at a lower price. But the funny part about it, I know I had the first one I had, I was like 18 to 19. is when I was working in radio. I had one for like eight years and didn't even know. They kept sending me a packet. And I didn't even know he it. Didn't even I finally, read it. yeah, right, exactly. That's the importance of it. I'm like, why do y'all keep telling me about 401k when I was part time, not realizing the whole time I was building money. I was building money up. Exactly. exactly. No, you should save that stuff. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, now to I it. know that. Right. Now I know that. But see, then I'm like, and there's a lot of companies money, that you, know you know can I mean? just buy stock from directly. Well, the nah, money they goes take, in. They take it out. No, when you when you put money into your four hundred one k, it's tax deferred. You don't pay taxes on it until you take it out. That, yeah, that's what I was but saying. But yeah. it, it also. If you take it out after sixty five, you don't pay taxes. You pay it at whatever the sixty five year old tax rate is. So sixty five is no. They to be take. Lower. They take. It's lower, but like if you take it out now, you they pay take a penalty. A big chunk, God, they take a big chunk out of that shit. Oh, Roth. Roth is is post. Yeah, it's taken out. The money you already take the taxes out. Roth IRA is the money's already been taxed. Regular IRA is but you you pay a tax you pay a, you pay you pay a fee you or pay a, tax a fee and when a you tax take it when out. you take it out. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say because I know tax yeah. time you gotta pay for you it pay too. the tax mm -hmm. and the fee. But it depends on you can also say it was a gain or a loss and you pay more taxes if you pay taxes on the money you made too. Yeah. So, you know, you got to read all that stuff before you invest because the tax implications are a motherfucker. Because even if you get 
money back, you still you end up paying. Like if you took money out of your 401k during that year, you pay taxes on it and you pay a penalty. The penalty they take out before they give you your money, mm-hmm. but the taxes you pay at the end of the year. I still got an HSA with a company I used to work for. I got money, you know, for that. I gotta, I gotta call them and figure that out. Right. A lot of people don't even know, like, when they leave companies, they be leaving free money on the table. Yeah, you gotta make sure that you check all that out. So, 